Contempt of Court Question Commentary of Vision Press Production This June 5, 2023 a Colport Borough Council meeting is not known by the electorate, taxpayers, and citizens. May 2023 did not reveal a meeting of the Colport Borough Council. As of 7.45 p.m. it is confirmed, there was no regular council meeting for Colport Borough Council meeting for June 2023. Be advised, there are no elected councillors for the Borough of Colport. The only elected officials for Colport Borough are the Honorable Mayor, who is incapacitated, and the Tax Officer for Colport Borough. The Honorable Court of Clearfield County pursuant to 8 PAC.S. 1004, appointed individuals by evidence of a letter from each of the prospective appointees. Four were appointed in 2022 to positions on the Colport Borough Council. At the court hearing in April of 2022, a petition was filed by the Honorable Mayor in her official capacity. A counter petition was served to the Honorable Court by the Tax Officer, the Rev. Gerald W. Spade, Sr., with evidence that two prospective candidates for the role of appointee counselor had not paid their taxes for real estate and per capita for multiple years. The counter-petitioner was asked by the Honorable Court, what statute prevents the two non-taxpayers the right to be seated as a counselor? The counter-petitioner explained the violation of the Colport Borough Ordinance regarding taxes would then be a criminal violation of the ordinance. The Honorable Court wanted a statutory citation of law, the counter-petitioner was overruled by the Honorable Court and the two non-paying taxpayers were appointed by the Honorable Court. After the court hearing, the counter-petitioner discovered tax evasion is a criminal offense and would have denied the two non-paying taxpayers the right to be appointed. As a matter of record according to the tax officer, the two appointee counselors, counselors Mr. and Mrs. Yingling have not paid taxes to the tax officer for the years 2021, 2022, and 2023 to date of this commentary. In April 2023, in violation of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania Title VIII regarding time restraints for appointment of a vacant seat on council, Mr. Ricardo Nardelli was appointed to a seat vacancy caused by the resignation of former Councillor Andrew Scott Manges in January 2023. Why was it a violation of Title VIII, the Borough Code of Pennsylvania? Council had 30 days to appoint a person to fill the seat of Councillor Manges. Council failed to appoint a person to the seat confined to 30 days. Then the Vacancy Board had 15 days to appoint a person to the seat of Councillor Manges. The Vacancy Board failed to meet and appoint a person to the Colport Borough Council local government. After the two entities failed, the Council and the Vacancy Board, then the Honorable Court lawfully had the right and responsibility to appoint a person to the vacant seat of Councillor Manges. The two entities failed and the Honorable Court was the only venue for appointing a new councillor to the Colport Borough Council. So, Mr. Nardelli was unlawfully seated on council showing contempt to the Honorable Court who had the only lawful right and responsibility to grant an appointment to the vacancy caused by Mr. Andrew Scott Manges. Mr. Nardelli's taking the oath of office prior to being appointed by the Honorable Court is a logistical violation of proper protocol and compliance to the rule of law found in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania Borough Code. Can the Honorable Court reverse the order for the appointees presently on council? If 10 individuals would sign a petition for the removal of councillors due to violation of their appointment, namely not making appearances at borough scheduled meetings which results in the inability of Colport Borough to conduct lawful business of the town, the Honorable Court may wish to know and hear the pleadings of the petitioners. The denial of appearance to regular schedule meetings of council may be construed to be contempt of court.
Accountability is the issue. Former councillors, as honourable councillors, would take off work to serve the borough of Colport electorate, taxpayers, and citizens as a duty to serve. Work was not a excuse issued by other former councillors. Service to we the people is a duty, honour, and privilege to serve. Appointee councillors promised the Honourable Court they would in the rule of councillor do the job and show up for responsibilities. Any employer would make a provision that days a person had civil responsibilities would grant a day off to officials to conduct business for the borough of Colport. Appears being a councillor is not a priority for most of the appointees. The Honourable Court should be advised of the negligence of appointee councillors to actively serve the people of Colport Borough. Please sign the petition to unseat all the councillors by the Honourable Court. Ten individuals will be needed for signatures on a legal petition. Accountability is needed for the Borough of Colport residents. The lack of council meetings to conduct business for the community is causing harm. No one is minding the ship and the rough coastline is fast approaching. Wherefore, is it contempt of a court order for councillors to fail to be present for council meetings? At the very least, appointee councillors sent letters to the Honourable Court saying they desired to serve we the people of the borough of Colport. Appears the councillors failed to comply to the court's standards of making appearances at all meetings of council for Colport Borough as they promised the Honourable Court and in the oath of office which each councillor agreed to do with fidelity. Where is the faithfulness demonstrated to the community of Colport Borough by making appearances to scheduled meetings of council? Respectfully. Vision Press Production.